Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video I'm going to be showing you the auxiliary method of drawing an ellipse. So if you are asked to draw an ellipse using the auxiliary method. Now if you are watching this video, this is an example 2. So if you watch the example 1 or the part 1 and you are watching this, so I'll welcome you. And if you are just coming across this uh, part 2 or example 2, it's still, we are still saying the same thing. If you are coming across this, uh, don't worry, at the end of this video I'm going to be talking about what we did in example 1. So in the example 1, I showed how to draw an ellipse using... Uh, the rectangular method but in this part two we are going to be dealing with the auxiliary method so don't worry so like this method that we are using this is um let me write it we are using the auxiliary circle method auxiliary circle method i hope you can see this the auxiliary circle method so based on the name you can see that means we are going to be dealing with circle unlike the rectangular method from that we are going to be using rectangle so this method is another simple method. So there are two things that we are going to be, uh, we are going to need. Now, if you are to draw an ellipse, and the ellipse looks like this, and the two things we are going to be, uh, we are going to need is the major axis and the minor axis. What do I mean by the major and minor axis? Now, the length from this side to this other side represents the major axis. Why? Because this is the, is long. No, it's the longer side. So that represents the major axis. Why this? Uh, the length of this side to this side, like this, represents the minor axis because that's a shorter side. If you look at it, major and minor. So this is the minor axis. So we are what we are going to be using is now for our major axis. For our major axis, we are going to be using 12 centimeter, and for our minor axis, we are going to be using 8 centimeter. So we are going to, going to be using the same uh, units we use when we are dealing when we did, uh, did the triangular. I mean, sorry, the rectangular method, the same unit. Just to let you know that whichever method you decide to use or you are asked to use, you are still going to get the same results. So this is another simple method, and I'm going to be uh, to simplify it in this video so that at the end of this video, you'll be able to draw uh, an ellipse using the auxiliary circle method. So before we get into this video, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button right now to subscribe to this channel. So just click on that red button with subscribe written on it. Just click on it. It won't cost you anything. So click on it and then the little bell icon beside the subscribe button also click on it so that we can get into this video proper. Alright, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So just comment, uh, just drop a comment that I've subscribed so that let me know that you subscribe and I'm going to reply you. Alright, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. Alright, so to start with using this auxiliary method, since we already know the major axis and the minor axis. So we are going to draw a circle uh, with a diameter of 12 cm. That is our major axis. So if our circle of diameter is 12 cm, that means our radius is going to be 6 cm. So I'll pick my compass and my ruler and measure 6 cm. So I already have my 6 cm. So now I can draw the circle. So right here I already have my uh, circle. So the next thing is that of the minor axis. So the minor axis is 8 cm. So you are going to draw another circle from the same center. The, that means the diameter will be 8 cm. So if the diameter is 8 cm, that means the radius will be 4 cm. So now we'll measure 4 cm. So I already have my 4 cm. So from the same center, where I drew the first circle, I'm going to draw the second one. So, if you put a ruler over, uh, from the center, so you can see we have 12, which is the major, and then the minor is 8. Is eight. So now, what we are going to do is that you see this uh, the first circle the first circle we are having we are going to divide it into 12 equal parts okay so we are going to divide it into 12 so to do that you know in dividing a circle into 12 equal parts you can either use your compass or your protractor so if you check the playlist on technical drawing i've done a video that explains how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts so so there are two videos that explain, explain that either using your compass or your protractor. So now let's continue. So now to divide this into 12, so I'll just place my compass from the center. So 
So make sure you uh, you place your compass properly. Okay. So now we mark uh, at uh, 30 degrees interval. So that we are 30, 60, 90, 120 and 150. So I'll draw a line from those points to pass through the center to the other side of the circle. So I've divided it into three equal parts. So let me. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I haven't done that. So the next thing we are going to do is. So let me start from from point one to point five. From point one to point five, we are going to draw uh, a line. Uh, just look at the distance I'm going to be using here. So from point one. 2.5 you are going to draw a line straight just down just before it touch the circle inside down you can like this so just make it short like this just let me make sure that it passed this point and i'm going to be explaining why just a bit and then from point 2 to point 4 we are going to do the same thing so just let it come down a bit so for this let's go up a bit so we are going to repeat the same thing here. So from 7 and 11. So this will go up. Then this one will draw it down. So if you look at it now, we are just it didn't really touch this circle. So but just make sure that it goes beyond this point. This point here. So this one should go uh, above, a little above this point. So now for 8 and 10. So for point 8 and point 10. Just draw this one below, then this one should come up a bit. So now what we've just done. So from the circle that is inside, where it is touching the circle that is inside, now we are going to place our ruler there like this, in this this way, horizontally. So from this point here, now I'm working with the circle inside, the smaller circle. So from point 1 to point 11. So point 0.1 to point 0.11. So from this we are going to draw a line that will touch this line that is coming downward. The same thing here, we are going to draw a line to the left. So you on this line, on this point also, on this uh, line 2 and 10. So once you place your ruler straight up, straight like that. So this one we are going to draw it to the right, and this we are going to draw it to the left. So you can see to touch this line that, come, that came down. So now let's do the same thing for line this uh, four and then eight. So from the circle inside, so make sure they are straight. So this on this side you draw it to the right. Here you draw it to the left. So from here, so from 5 and 7, to the right here, and then to the left. So now what we are going to do next is, now let's note the point of intersection. So here, this point, and then on this point also. So I hope you are noting those points. On this point of intersection, we had the line coming up and coming like this meets here, yeah. and then on this point here, yeah. on this point, so here, yeah. 
So all these points will represent the points that we are going to join together to form our ellipse. So those points and then these points. So now we are going to use our French curve to join those points together and that will, with that we are going to get our ellipse. So let me introduce my, let me bring in my French curve. So this is, this, these are French curves, these three, they are French curves. So either your French curve or your flexible curve, whichever one you are familiar with or you have. Uh, and some people also use broom, you know, your broomstick can also get the job done. But I'm going to be using my French curve to, to join those points together and we are going to be having our ellipse. So with my French curve, I've gotten these points. So I'm doing so it can be bold. So we have that point. So for the opposite side, it will also give us this point. So we are gradually uh, coming up with the, the ellipse is com uh, gradually coming to shape. So for the last uh, last side of it. So with that, we've been able to, to get our ellipse using the auxiliary circle method. So the one that I made bold represents that our ellipse. So from here to here, which is our minor axis, will be 8 cm. While from here to here is 3 cm. Now in, uh, in the part 1 on the example 1, you know, where I mentioned, where we did it using the rectangular method. So this is what it looks like using the rectangular method. So if you want to know how to do, go about using the rectangular method, I'll leave a link to it uh, in the description of this video. So it will take you to this particular video where we did it using the rectangular method. So this is how the rectangular method looks like. And while this represents the auxiliary circle method. So if you have any question with respect to this video, or you have any video requests or whatsoever, uh, just leave them in the comment section below. Uh, you can also check our playlist on technical drawing for more videos on that technical drawing. Then for the one I mentioned about this rectangular method that video will be popping up somewhere here towards the end of this video so just keep watching towards the end the video will pop up it will be the next video that will be appear on your on your screen so you can also check out our, our website paacademy.co paacademy.co so if you are here to subscribe also please click on subscribe button that just will, be, will pop up on your screen just click on it or you click on it uh, the one below just below the video are written subscribe just click on subscribe to PA Academy and I'll see you all in another video So meanwhile you can just click here for the next video